After the nose job, I only had one surgery, and that was the one where I nearly died. So that sort of changed everything. My first surgery was my boob job. Um, the first boob job for, was 460 cc's, which was quite large to an 18 year old girl. Then my second surgery, um, that was 750 cc's. And then I had my nose job. I am Amanda Ahola and I'm 21 years old. I live in Finland. My number one ambition is looking plastic, as plastic as I can. I mean, Barbie is really close to perfection and I want to get as close to perfection as I can. So in a way, you could say I would like to look like Barbie, yeah. The blonde hair, big lips, big boobs, you know. I think it's something that when people see me, they do like notice um, the fakeness, sort of, like that I'm not natural, very unnatural. Well, I think that I always had like this idea that when I grow up, I'm gonna look a certain way. 16, I started like making plans how it's gonna go down. I had this vision about myself and I didn't look like it, so I just started changing things. Mekin vanhempina ollaan pyydetty häntä, häntä niin kuin keskustelemaan psykiatrin kanssa, että onko kaikki ihan ok, että sä haluat jotain tällaista. Niin miksi sä haluat sellaista, kun... mutta tota, se on hänen valintansa. Se oli kiteytetty hyvin kaikki siinä. <laughs> well, my family is really a normal Finnish family. Um, they were brought up pretty humbly with not a lot of money and not a lot of anything like looks or stuff like that has never been a concern to them. Tämä tässä näkyy jo hyvin pienenä, että hänellä oli sellaisia, että hän, hän oli erilainen, erikoinen ja hän halusi pitää korkokenkiä ja sitten ihan joku neljänvuotiaan etsittiin kaupasta ja semmoisia, missä olisi pikkusen jotain. Korko on niissä kenkissä ja kyllähän näyttää ihan, että no mun mielestäni en haluaisi, että hän menisi niin tämmöisiin äärimmäisyyksiin, mutta hän on tällainen äärimmäisyyksiä ihminen, että kaikki tai ei mitään. My first boob job uh, was 7000, second one was 4000, my nose job was 4000 and my latest boob job was 6000. I started saving up money for my surgeries when I was 16 and I have been saving money ever since and working, working a lot. At the moment I started working as a webcam girl. My boyfriend does not like me working as a webcam model but he accepts it. Niin se aiheutti vähän kitkaa meidän parisuhteeseen, mutta nyt asia on aika lailla käsitelty ja se on ihan hyväksytty. How does your boyfriend feel about your sugar daddy? He doesn't like him. Amanda sugar daddy, no ei oikein haittaa, mutta ei, ei oikeastaan ole mitään mielipidettä siihen. I found my sugar daddy on Instagram and he was like asking if there's anything that I would like and I said that I would like bigger boobs and <laughs> obviously if someone like wants to pay my bills or surgeries and is content um, to not having a physical relationship um, with me that is fine. My latest surgery I nearly died. I don't really remember. I have like little flashbacks of going to the surgery room. And then I remember waking up to a really like weird dream that I was in like a hospital bed. And then I see my mom and my boyfriend walk next to my like hospital bed. And I'm just thinking, what in the world? Cause my mom did not know 
that I was having the surgery. Um, they start crying and I start crying. And then my mom's like, yeah, like something happened after the surgery and, and you're now in a hospital. And they asked me, like, do you remember us? And I was like, yes, of course I remember you. And they were like, well, you didn't yesterday. I was in a hospital for a week. Ja se on nyt sellainen, että sehän on semmoinen toisiksi pahin puhelu, jonka se vanhemmat voi saada. Se on se, että se lapsi on teho-osastolla ja sitten hän saattaa kuolla. Et pahin on se, että soitetaan, että on jo kuollut. I had quite a lot of swelling in my brain. I haven't gotten any like answers to what happened to me. I was really grateful that I was alive. I was really happy about that. I didn't regret what happened because I made a choice and that was the consequence. But I was really devastated because I knew that this was be this was going to be the end of me having surgery. Before um, my last surgery, I was already planning on having a Brazilian butt lift after that. I stopped for a minute and I was thinking that I will never do anything like that ever again. But obviously I've sort of changed my mind and I do want to have more surgery if I can. I don't want to be put under um, anesthesia, but I would consider using um, like local anesthesia. Et jos se on nyt niin kuin hirveästi tuntuu, että nyt mulla on tällainen päämäärä, niin se voi olla teidän hänen viiden vuoden päästä on yl- yhtään samaa päämäärää. Hän voi olla perheäiti. Hän voi käy ihan... Hän ehkä nyt on sitä mieltä, että tässä kohtaa, mutta kyllä se jokainen itsestään tietää. Että mitä ajattelin 15-vuotiaana, en ajattele enää leikki 50 samalla tavalla. Am I addicted to surgeries? Uh, well, yeah, like maybe in a way. Now I just know that I have to do all the things that I want to do. Because, you know, life could end at any second.